Hey everybody, Al here from VC Extreme Outdoorsman. So today I'm going to do a little video on how to put bullet profiles into the new Garmin Tactics 7 Pro. And uh, I'll be doing that with the Garmin app. It's called the AB Snaps by Garmin. And I'll also do it, how to do it manually with the watch. It takes a little longer, but uh, I'll show you how to do it that way as well. So uh, let's get at her. Okay, so the first thing you're probably wanting to want to do is to down, go to the App Store, uh, search AB Snaps by Garmin, and uh, this will come up, and then download it onto your phone. Once you have it on your phone, it's going to look something like this. Sorry for the glare from the lights, but uh, there's not a lot I can do about it. So as you can see, I already have one, two, three, four, five um, profiles already on here. And I'm already connected. So if I go to ballistics and then go down to profile, hit enter. You can see that I have one, two of them already on here. The 223 or 80 grainers and the 338 KDEX. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'll make a new one here off the Kestrel. I'll just pick one of the profiles that I have on here. Let's see. Let's, let's do, let's go with a six millimeter. Okay, so on here, if I want to start a new profile, I just press on the little plus button in the top right and it says new profile. Click on that and I'll just go uh, six creed. Creedmoor, that's what we'll call it. So that's done. Now we'll go to the ballistic data base. So that's a 243. Let's go to DTAX. That's what I shoot. And we'll go with the 115 rebated boat tail. And we want the applied ballistic curve. I like the applied, uh, custom drag curves. I've used them and I've never had any trouble or had to change from using them. They just work. Okay, so velocity. I'm just going to throw in just uh, what, anything. Let's go with uh, clear that. Let's just go 3,000. Done. Range is 100 meters. I know the sight height is 2 inches. Uh, the twist rate is 7.5. Done. Okay, so the SSF, now that is if you uh, did a tall target test and you find out you have some uh, deviation in your dials, like if it's a point, if it's supposed to be a 1, it's a point 0.9, you'd put that in there. Zero height and zero offset, that's if you like to throw a suppressor or something on. So we're not going to worry about that. So that's pretty much done. And uh, so there it is there, 6 Creedmoor. Okay, so let's go back to the watch now. Okay, the watch, let's just keep back out of here. Okay, so here I am with the watch. Okay, so I want to download that onto my watch. I pretty much don't have to do anything. All I really have to do is pick up the phone. All I have to do is press this, touch this little white until it turns green. And that'll tell me that it's going to send it. Now up in the left-hand corner, there is a watch. If I press that... It's going to say, warning, sending weapon profiles will overwrite with the same name on your Tactic 7 device. And that's okay, because I don't have any same name. So I'm sending it. It takes a couple seconds to send it. doesn't take too long. Okay, it says successfully. Okay, so now if I go in here to the watch, I am going to press enter. Enter again. I'm going to go down to... Profile, enter, there it is right there. And it's actually working right now. So if I go to a match somewhere and I find out that my um, velocities are off, if I don't do it on there, I can do it here. I can just change it here, just press that. Edit, and uh, I can just change them up or down from there. But I don't need to, so I'm just gonna go back. So I'm back here again. So this is the profile. So if I click again, then it has all my other profiles. Now this is the start-stop button. 
I always call it the back button, or, or sorry, the enter button. This is the back button down here. Up, down, and this is the light. Okay, so if I wanted to change this, I got 223 80 grainers in there and the 338. So I want to say I want to change it to 338. I just press enter and I press change profile. So now it is changed. I can I can go back. Oops. Go back. And there we go. So for 400 meters and the KDEX is telling me um, 1.8 mils up. So I'll go back. back. I'll, I'll enter. Let's go back down to prof profile so this is just all the gun properties and stuff like it has everything in here i'll go through that when i add one manually okay so if i want to delete a profile i cannot do it if it's an active one so right now you see the cadix is active if i tried to delete it it, it just won't let me so if i uh hit the enter button again Go up to 223, change profile. So now, if I hit enter again, and I go down to 338, hit enter, I can either rename it or delete it. Or I can also change it, the change, change to that profile. So if I hit change, I'm now working underneath the 338 Lapua um, profile. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, delete this. I'll delete that. Uh, whoops. Oh, not that one. I'll go down and delete the six creed more. Go down the six creed, hit enter, down, delete. It should be gone. And I see I have one on here that I don't want, which is a, the new one. So I'm just going to press enter and I can delete that. I must have did that before when I was playing around. So that's gone now. So the only two that are on here is the, uh, or three, sorry, is the Voodoo SK Plus and the Kdex. Okay, so if I want to add a, a new one and start a new one, go to profile, hit enter. Okay, so this is the new one here. And so there's two things I can do here. I can either rename it now by, uh, I'd have to close it, like open up a different, like go back and open up a different one, or I can add all my bullet properties. So I can go to the bullet database right on here, AB Elite. Let's go down to six mil again. Let's go down to DTAX, press enter. I want custom. So that pretty much fills it all this up for me. It's a ballistic coefficient of one because it's the Litz's program. Drag curve is custom, bullet weight, and the bullet length and the bullet diameter is 243. So I'm going to go back. So now I go to gun properties. So now muzzle velocities. I'm going to edit. And I'm going to want about 3,000. So let's, uh, like I said, it takes a little longer to do it with this. And then all of a sudden it'll take right off. So we're going to be quick. Now let's just do 2850. Save time. And zero range, 100 meters. Sight height, we know, is two inches. So we'll bring her up to two. And zero height, zero, zero. And leave those the same. Twist rate, it's going to be 7.5. Okay, 7.5. Uh, Calibrate muzzle velocity, we don't need to do that. Drag scale, factor view on a table and muscle velocity temp table okay let's just go back output units i can have that in inches mils moa we'll leave it on mil so we'll just hit the back button back again so now if i want to name it i will hit this I'll hit the back button, or the forward button. The, I'll hit the enter button again. I will hit enter again. I will make this one and change it. Now, oops, hit it again. I'll scroll down to new, 
and now I can edit the name. And to do that, it's just up and down. So let's go up to space, down, L, A. Let's call it L, L1. Do another space. L1. And then we'll just hit OK. So that's the name of it now. So I should have four profiles on here now. 330, uh, 223, 1, 338, the new one, and the SK. So that is basically how you do, how you uh, put a new profile on without using the app. Now, I believe I read somewhere this thing will hold 30 different uh, bullet profiles. Uh, so now let's just go back. So I got this one. That's the one that's on that's activated right now. So let's go down to this one, go down and let's delete it. Enter. And it's just like that. It's gone. So I just have those three on there. So let's put the Kdex back on. Say you're shooting a rimfire and in the morning you check your uh, velocities and they're out a bit. So that's easy enough to do. So I'm just going to hit enter there. I'm going to go down to SK here. There we go. Now I can just go down. I'm going to go down to Gun Pro Properties, Muzzle Velocity, and then Edit, and I can just change it up and down as I want. So that is probably, that's pretty much it. How you uh, install and uh, remove bullet profiles either by using your phone, right here, or by using just the watch and doing it that way. So that's how you add profiles to the watch, either by using your phone or by entering them manually through the watch. It can be done both ways. So I hope you liked the video. So please like and subscribe and hit the not notifications button so you don't miss any future content. Thank you everybody and take care and uh, we'll talk to you soon.